Correct breathing technique for the PowerBreathe EX1 EMT device. Body position. Make sure you are sitting or standing upright and feel relaxed. Holding the device correctly. Hold the EX1 device with your hand cupped around the lower part of the device. Make sure the air inlet is not obstructed. Good breathing technique. To make a hard and fast breath out, it is first important to breathe in fully. So, place the mouthpiece in your mouth so that your lips make an airtight seal. Breathe in slowly, as far as you can, filling your lungs with as much air as possible. There is no resistance when you breathe in. Then, breathe out through the device as fast and forceful as you can, squeezing out all the air from your lungs. It is at this point of breathing out where the training effect occurs. Breathe in again, slowly, as far as you can, filling your lungs with as much air as possible. You may remove the device from your mouth during inhalation if you prefer. Finding your correct training level on the PowerBreathe EX1. Try to complete five exhales through the device on the lowest setting. Don't worry if you're unable to complete five exhales in one attempt immediately. Everyone is different and building up your expiratory muscles can take time. Practicing the correct breathing technique will help you get the most from your respiratory muscle training. If you can complete five breaths with ease, turn the load adjustment knob by one full turn to increase the training load. Then try to complete five exhalations once more. When you reach a point where you cannot open the valve to breathe out through the device, then the load on your exhalation is too much and you need to reduce the resistance. You have reached the point of failure or maximum expiratory pressure, commonly referred to as MEP. At this point of failure, reduce the load to 50% of this load adjustment and start your training session at that level. How to train with the PowerBreathe EX1. During your training session, you are aiming to complete 25 exhalations a day in five sets of five in one session. Short rests between sets, do this five days every week. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth so that your lips make an airtight seal. Breathe in slowly, as far as you can, filling your lungs with as much air as possible. There is no resistance when you breathe in. Hold this for one second. Then breathe out through your mouth and the device as fast and forceful as you can, squeezing out all the air from your lungs. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded at any time, stop until this passes. Rest for at least 15 seconds. Repeat this exercise five times, then have a one minute break from training. This completes one training set. Complete five training sets for a total of 25 breaths a day and aim to do this five days a week. When you've performed your training, you should feel tired at the end of your last breath. Find out more at powerbreathe.com. When you can easily manage five training sets at that level, use the load adjustment knob to increase the load by a full turn and your expiratory muscles will be challenged again. Increasing the load is an indication that your expiratory muscles are becoming stronger from your training. Well done. Remember though, that breathing muscles suffer the same use it or lose it effect as your other muscles. So, if you stop your training for any length of time, your breathing muscles will begin to lose the strength and stamina that you have built up. This means that when you resume your training on the PowerBreathe EX1 device, you will need to find your starting level once again. We recommend, if using for a particular medical condition, that you consult a qualified respiratory physiotherapist and or present this information to your doctor. Please also read the precautions and contraindications on our website.